Okay, this question we're asked to differentiate each of the following with respect to x and to simplify your answer. So it's important you've read that you're differentiating with respect to x and you're asked to simplify your answers. So that's really important. Okay, first off, let's do the first one. Um, part A. Y is equal to, let's call it y is equal to the natural logarithm of 3x subtract 2. Now underneath it I like to always state the rule. Y, if y is equal to the logarithm of some function of x, okay, then we know that the rule dy over dx is the differential of the expression f dashed x divided by f of x. It's really useful in an exam you state your rules. So therefore, in this case, dy over dx, in our case, the differential of the bracket is 3, and we're dividing it by 3x subtract 2, and it's as simple as that. Okay, for part uh, b, the function we're differentiating is 2x add 1 over 1 subtract x. So if y is equal to 2x add 1 divided by 1 subtract x, you should realise this is a quotient, this is a fraction, so therefore this is your u, and that's your v. So your u is equal to 2x add 1, therefore your u dash, your differential is 2. Your v is equal to 1 subtract x, and be very careful here, your v dash is therefore negative 1. Someone might forget that. And the rule we're using, so the rule we're going to use is dy by dx is v u dash subtract u v dash divided by v squared. Okay, so now it's just a substitution game, so dy by dx is v u dash. So it's these two things multiplied together. So I'm going to, I, I might try and do that straight away. So that's 2 subtract 2x. And then we're taking away these two things multiplied together, which will be negative 1 multiplied by a 2x add 1. And all of that is going to be divided by v squared, which is 1 subtract x all squared. Now we can tidy up. Well, this and we've got a negative uh, multiplied by a negative here, which would just end up being a positive. So we've got 2 add 1, which would be 3. And we've got negative 2x add 2x, which would just be 0. So this would just simplify to 3 over 1 subtract x all squared. And that's our dy with the x in that case there. And for c, x to the 3 over 2, uh, e to the 2x. So y is equal to y is equal to x to the 3 over 2 e to the 2x. So there's you should immediately realize here that you've got a product u multiplied by v. So our u is equal to x to the 3 over 2. So our u dashed will bring down the power of 3 over 2, differentiate the expression which would just be 1, then you'd have x to the power of a half. And if our v is e to the power of 2x, then our v dashed should be 2 e to the 2x, as follows. So let's use the um, product rule. The product rule tells us the following, that dy by dx is equal to u v dashed plus v u dashed, like that. So therefore, dy by dx would equal u v dashed, so these two things multiplied, so that's going to be 2... Uh, x to the 3 over 2 e to the 2x, add these two things multiplied to each other, 3 over 2 x to the half e to the 2x. Now, it, it might be worth doing a bit of factorisation here. Um, what can we factorise? Well, we can factorise certainly e to the 2x, or we can divide out e to the 2x because that's there and that's there. We could also divide out an x to the power of a half, okay? And we could also uh, divide out a half if we want. So I'm going to divide out a half, and I'm going to divide out an x to the power of a half. So 2 divided by half would give me 4, and this would just be left with an x there. And I'd be left with the 3 from here as follows. So it would be a half, x to the power of a half, e to the 2x, multiplied by 4x, add 3, and I'll be done. <laughs>